Hi there and welcome to this Joomla Man tutorial where I'm going to show you guys how to install a Joomla 3 template from the Joomla Man website. Now for this tutorial I'm going to use one of our most popular templates, JM Galleria. Uh, so I'm going to start right here just by explaining that, that we are using MAMP um, as a local install for, part, for this tutorial but you might be using WAMP if you're on a PC or you might be installing directly onto your hosting server. So a few of these settings may change but I'll explain these as, as we go through the tutorial. So straight away here I'm going to go into PHP my admin using uh, using MAMP and I'm going to go to the databases and I'm going to create a new database for this tutorial so it's jm underscore gallery underscore tutorial so I click the create button there and you'll see over here now we've got our new template uh, new database for uh, jm gallery so once we've got the database set up what I need to do is I need to create a new folder in the root directory for MAMP uh, so this is the folder that MAMP is actually looking into and we're going to create a folder called JM Galleria for this tutorial. Uh, we then need to go down, go down here and you will see that I have got my quick start package for Joomla 3. So I'm going to drag that into the JM Galleria folder and then we need to extract this zip file and uh, get all the Joomla install files into the correct folder ready for MAMP um, to look at it and then we can start the install process. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to remove the zip file because we don't need that in there, keep the folder nice and clean. And then I'm going to go into the folder that uh, the zip file created for us and then I'm going to move all the Joomla install files into the root directory for MAMP's um, folder JM Galleria and I'm going to remove the empty folder now just to keep uh, a, bit of, a bit of good housekeeping there and keep everything clean. So we've got the Joomla install files here and we've got the JM Galleria folder where MAMP is going to look. So if we move over to the browser now and we get the, in the path that MAMP uses and then we put JM Galleria and we click the return button, we now get the Joomla install screen. So we're ready to start installing uh, the details here for Joomla. Uh, and this uh, template demo. So the site name, I'm going to use JM Galleria Tutorial. So we've got that in there already. And then we use uh, my admin email address is Sean at Joomlaman.com. So I've got that in there as well. Uh, the admin username, we're going to use admin. And then the admin password, I'll just put my uh, password back in there. And we're ready to try and connect to the database now. So if I click next, you'll see here now that we get the database configuration screen and we're ready to try and connect to the database. So the database type for, for my install, for my tutorial here is, is MySQL. You might be using MySQL Lite. So I select MySQL here. The host name for this uh, install on MAMP again is localhost. Most servers use localhost as, as, as the host name, but if, uh, if you're on a shared server, you might be using a different host name at this point. Uh, the username for the database, I've got this up from over here on my MAMP users tab. So I've already got the users predefined that can connect to these databases. So if I go back over here now and I enter the username for one of these users and then I put the password in there as well. So we're ready to try and connect to that database, but we need to put the database name in. So straight away here, I've already got JM underscore gallery underscore tutorial. And I've got that from where we named the database when we set this up in the, in the first instance. So JM underscore gallery underscore tutorial. And that there is the database name. So the prefix is predefined and it will create that randomly for you. So if we click next now, you'll see we've connected to the database and we need to finalize the installation. Now for all the Joomla Man template installs, if you want the template to look exactly like the demo on the Joomla Man website, you need to select default English GB sample data. We do get a few support tickets um, asking why the template doesn't look like our demo. This is the reason you, you need to make sure the default English GB sample data is selected. All the other settings here are, are predefined and, and, and we're happy to just carry on with the install here. So if we click install, see now here Joomla is working away already connected to the database and he's installing all the data into the database and creating all the tables so there we go we get the confirmation screen that Joomla is now installed and the last part of this process is we need to remove the installation folder so let's click the button right there and this is it now we're good to go so we could either go straight to the back end of Joomla and start administrating this template or for this purpose we're going to click the site button and then you will see 
that we have got the, the demo in the, the install of the template JM gallery which is ready for you guys to start editing and enjoying this template if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact us over at support at jumaman.com we'll be more than happy to help you and you can also post your questions in, in the forum over at the main jumaman.com website but once again thank you for purchasing our products and uh, we hope these tutorials help you out thank you very much